Hi, I'm the Impatient Gamer, and if you're impatient like me, you don't want to hear me talk, you want to get to installing. So, I have the link to the website with instructions in the description, which is all you really need from the website, unless you want more instruction. This guide is for those who own legal copies of Silent Hill 2 or Silent Hill 2 Director's Cut for PC only. We will not be going over how to get the game. This guide will start assuming you have already installed your legal copy of the game. The only advice I have for installing the game itself is that you do not install it to program files, but instead create your own folder. Program files is right protected, but was not right protected when Silent Hill 2 first came out, so installing it to program files causes a lot of problems. Luckily, installing Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition is very simple. Step 1, install your legal copy of the game, making sure it's not in program files. Step 2, download the Enhanced Edition installer. Step 3, install the Enhanced Edition. Step 4, play. There used to be a lot more steps. Since this is my second time doing this tutorial, I'll start a game of Silent Hill 2 going over the options, controls, and also some tips for new players, like James's head turns to look at items as he's running. That one's free. So if this is helpful, please leave a like, leave comments if you have questions, subscribe for more impatient content. So step one, download the Enhanced Edition installer. You can click the link in the description below. On the main page, click Enter, then click Download and Usage, then click Download the Setup Tool. That's it! This page has a ton of information though, and would definitely recommend a peruse. The Enhanced Edition works with both Silent Hill 2 and the Director's Cut, so don't worry there. I would recommend against installing it in the Program Files directory, just putting it in C Konami is usually fine. Program Files is read-only, and some games have trouble with this, so it's better to avoid it. Make note of where you installed Silent Hill 2. I put it in F Konami Silent Hill 2 Director's Cut install. The next step is install the Enhanced Edition, so go to where you downloaded the installer, open it up, and install it. So here it's going to ask where your install is, so I'm just going to browse to the location of my install example. It's the folder. I'm going to click next. And now it shows all the different things that uh, come with it. And I would definitely recommend full install. So amazing. <laughs> really amazing. I mean, I'm such a huge Silent Hill fan. So uh, it's really great to be able to relive Silent Hill 2 in a way that you like remember it more than the way it actually was. Because, you know, it's like 4 by 3 480p. Uh, on my like CRT in my bedroom. Those were the days. I remember when I got my first TV in my bedroom and I had it up on like my bureau or dresser, I guess people call it outside of Massachusetts. But I, yeah, I had it up on the bureau and uh, I was, I felt so smart because I had my PlayStation right next to my bed and I like ran a cable under the rug to get up there. I still do that. That's how I get my PC to play on my TV in my living room right now. Um, but that was nice. I like playing Silent Hill too in, in my room. Sometimes I had like friends over, play together in the dark because we could like close the curtains and like really like blackout curtains. Good times, good times for Silent Hill too. Yeah, good game. I, uh, It is interesting because I remember it being a lot more like Silent Hill 1 and Silent Hill 3. But when you actually play Silent Hill 2, it has a different version of the uh, other world. It's more of like a just dilapidated world as opposed to one that's like full of, that's like full on uh, other world. Like in the other Silent Hills, it's much more like gory and stuff. But in this one, it's more just like everything's kind of run down in the other world. Um, that was a little surprising. And I guess if you're playing for the first time, I might recommend that you don't play on normal, that you play on hard. Because I played on normal difficulty and I just was like mowing down all the enemies and it just made it too easy because some part of the game is like being like oh crap i'm gonna die so and if you're just like mowing down nurses you know left and right then it's not as fun but it is i mean it's not like i didn't like not dying all the time but uh yeah you know what i mean <laughs> you can also check out my silent hill 3 installer um, which is a lot more complicated. They People don't care about Silent Hill 3 nearly as much as they care about Silent Hill 2, unfortunately. But um, I do have an installer for Silent Hill 3, and honestly, it looks amazing. Like, it is a huge bump up, even from Silent Hill 2, this enhanced edition. Like, the character models look very modern, and it can go all the way up to 4K resolution. And, I mean, the graphics are just really good. I mean, there's the occasional extremely pixelated thing, but overall, very good. I mean, if... if they ran on Silent Hill 3 next. That'd be amazing. Also, but, it's, you know, Silent Hill 1 is the one that really needs it, isn't it? I can't imagine. Like, how could they not think that would make money? Give it to Capcom. They know what they're doing. Honestly, Capcom would probably do a good job. Nah, I don't know. 
Resident Evil games always go off the rails. I love them, but they do. They go off the rails. <laughs> like the Resident Evil show. Like there was a uh, big caterpillar. It was like the first zombie you see. It was like a, or it was the first like creature you see, like a big caterpillar. Like what? A big cat? Who thought of that? Over at Netflix. Okay, man. Look at this. Great. So we downloaded everything. Now it's extracting. This is just perfect. I mean, these, the people who made this are honestly, you know, sometimes I overspeak, but not this time. Gods among men. Gods among men. And honestly, just looking at the inventory items and like, and like looking at them close up. It's just such a treat. This, this enhancement edition, this enhanced edition, like just, it's so nice. Look at like, like the map. Perfect. Uh, the menu, just high quality. It's just all over, all, all around like a dream come true for something to be like this. Like we're so lucky to have this now it's installed. And so I'm just going to open the configuration tool just to show you what's in there. This is the configuration tool. Uh, right now it's on windowed for whatever reason. I'm going to change it to full screen windowed. Um, and yeah, I really don't think there's a reason to change anything here. I think everything is already set to good. <laughs> um, so something you should make sure of, uh, this does use X input plus. I would definitely recommend an Xbox controller. I do have a PS5 controller that I've been using on my PC and it's just like a lot less reliable than the Xbox because you know, the PC wants to use the Xbox, it's Sony, so they're like meh. Um, but the Sony one connects via Bluetooth, but, but programs don't see it on my computer unless I have Steam running. And there was another software that I downloaded that got your PlayStation running, but it, it just conflicted with Steam and I just try to open all my games with my PS5 controller and Steam. But definitely recommend an Xbox controller. And you have to have it on before the game starts. If you turn it on after the game starts, it won't work. So that is an issue that is easy to fix. Just uh, if your controller is not working, turn the game off and turn it on again with the controller already on. And uh, that fixes that. So, okay. Look at this. Game fixes. Look at all these game fixes. I love this. Fix hospital chase animation. Fix in room cutscene. I'm very excited about this. Thicken hospital diary line. Amazing. Uh, how sweet it is. I hope you can hear that. Okay, so I'm going into options. Um, yeah, I'm going to see what we got going on here. Just the resolution. Itself. Okay, great. So resolution, I'm key. this is the, the default resolution for my screen. I have 4K display. Here's might say 1920 by 1080, maybe 2160 by 1440. But the game is old enough that I think it, you, it can handle 4K. Um, Oh, this is just on. Yeah, I really don't think there's much you have to change. Um, yeah, I don't like the noise effect, so that is off. High-risk texture is obviously on. Um, I'll keep the brightness level the same. And then I'm just going to assume when I start, the controls are going to be good. At my own peril, potentially. Okay, let's see. Uh, don't make it hard, Dan. No. Yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to. Oh, yeah, just normal. The... <laughs> Puzzles in this game are ridiculous. So cryptic. Okay, I hope that you've seen the video of this, or the, uh, that he's looking right at you. There was like a meme that came out a little while ago. There was an article that came out a while ago. Someone brightened it up, and he's looking right at you in that scene. I love it. Mm. James? James, where are you? Anyway! <laughs> Mary, could you really be in this town? Mary, could you really be in this town? There he is. Look at how advanced. Most games don't have... <laughs> you can't see your face in the mirror in most games. <laughs> wow. I've never been happier with a bathroom. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can quick quick turn, but I couldn't. Wow, I just, just, they just went in and they cleaned up all these textures. Okay, unfortunately these are not the most, <laughs> they didn't have a lot to work with on these, I think. I mean, I 
love this game, but those have to be the worst trees I've ever seen. In my and they could blur dreams. the background a little more, right? I feel like it's too. I, I can see, see the pixelation. Town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. Wow. But you never did. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. Now. And forever. In our special place. Yeah, Waiting this shot for is you. not the flex that you think it is, Konami. Got a letter. The music is though. <laughs> the name on the envelope said Mary. Mary. Say your My name for name. me again. It's ridiculous. Give it back. Couldn't possibly be true. Mary, make me. That's what I keep telling myself. Make me a man. A dead person can't write a Make letter. me a man. Mary died of that oh, damn disease Mary, three years ago. You have cancer. So then, why and am I looking died. for her? And now she wrote me a letter. I cried. What could she mean? It's the hotel. We've played this before. This whole town was our special place. This town? Does she mean the park on the lake? So Silent Hill 2 suffers Waiting from the extremely slow opening disease of games. Uh, not a disease, but something. Um, it just definitely... Uh, so yeah, you have that, which was cute, and then you find the map. And then you have to just run a really long time. There's a, a lot of running right at the beginning. Ooh, the sound is really good in these headphones. Um, yeah, I forget to put something in here. Let's see, now all the ammo you can get, even though I'm on normal mode, because I've chickened out. <laughs> yeah, so... This is a running simulator for about 15 minutes. Which, you know, as a David Lynch fan, someone who likes movies like Eraserhead, that does have 30 minutes at the beginning of, like, <laughs> very little going on. Kind of a walking simulator. I have it on 3D rotation, so it's tank controls. I'm happy about those tank controls, honestly. Anytime you have a cinematic camera, you want tank controls. Otherwise, you're constantly adjusting. Like, I was just playing the quarry, and it moves between, uh... Like... <laughs> Um, I was just playing the quarry and it moves between. Here we go. We love that. So yeah, just if this was the original, then it would just be very pixelated. Yeah, we are going to be running for a long time. Ooh, here's an updated FMV. Excuse me, I... <gasps> oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I no, was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Oh my god, like um, the movie? Yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. Bitch. This, uh... This town, there's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. Wow. 
I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? I got a letter. I'm looking for... someone. Who... who... who is it? Someone... very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I I'm sorry. It's not your no, problem. I I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. And they're all like in an amusement park or something. Oh, okay. So it looks like... Yeah, I'm using the analog stick and it's giving me the same kind of movement. Which I guess I, I mean, ideally it would be 3D movement and 2D movement based on whether you use the analog stick or the 2D stick. But that's probably a little advanced. Alright. Twelve minutes to paradise. If it is paradise. That's where they think they're going. Twelve minutes to paradise. Yep. More walking simulator. I mean, if this is my first time playing, I probably would be a little bit, you know, not as glib. Mm -hmm. Beautiful fog. I mean, the uh, original version is just nothing compared to this. I mean, the <laughs> if they released this officially with all these mods, then like, I would be very happy. I would definitely buy a copy. Here we go now, baby, here we go now, here we go. Oh, we running. We running. Also, having played this before, not much tension. Because <laughs> I know you're not going to get attacked for the one. <clears throat> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Why does this game have such critical acclaim? It's just walking. I know. It's definitely the slowest part. <laughs> Silent Hill 3 like jumps right into the mall, right into the other world, right into extremely disturbing. Silent Hill 2 gives you a little more breathing room. Dead end. Oh, I think you do have the ability to save anywhere in this one. I'm going to push select. Save. And that's nice. <laughs> um, yeah, all the buttons are working pretty well. Like, I just, I have, um, an, I'm going to refer to this in, like, the play, in PlayStation terms. So that's just, just how I know controllers. So square is run by default. X is enter by default. Circle is cancel by default, 
and uh, triangle is map by default. You can like strafe if you do R1 and L1, and then R2, you look, R, and R3 is when you shoot, I think, or it's X, I'm not sure, because I don't have a weapon yet. Um, yeah, look at that map. Look at this. It is crispy. Look at that. So impressive. Rut row. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm just using the D pad to run. Using the analog stick is a little harder. And like I, I'm using the um, the D-pad mostly. And if you also, uh, one of the cool things about this is that you can look at his head, and his head is going to look at where there are items. So if you want, if you're running and he his head like looks at something, then that that's how you know there's an item nearby. No items yet. There might be like a door, like an, uh, like a little fenced-in area up here. Oh, see, he's looking. He's looking. There we, go. Oh, we love a health drink. Another health drink. He is healthy as a horse over here. No ammunition. So impressed. <laughs> like Silent Hill 3 is good also. Okay, I think there's like something under a car up here. That might be Silent Hill 1, I'm not sure. No, we get it, you're in there. <laughs> Oh, I skipped it. Sorry, I skipped it. <laughs> Whatever, I'm the impatient gamer. That's what I do. Is it dead? What the hell is it? It's not human. Sorry, I know that it was iconic, but you'll just have to play it yourself. <laughs> so I push R2 to get into my stance and then X to hit. Yeah. L2 is like look around mode, which is actually really great. It works really well in this game, the look around mode. Some other games, it's not as responsive, the look around mode. But I personally am a big fan. Ooh, look at the bloody footprints. <laughs> oh, yeah. This thing broken? I wish there was a secret way to get from the park to the apartment oh, yeah. building right at the beginning. <laughs> Take it anyway. I might need it. Cool. So yeah, I'm just gonna do the same thing I did before. Just like watch his head as he goes. Also, not going to engage with anything. I think now enemy start. So yeah, for me right now, all the controls are perfect. They're all set correctly. I'm using an Xbox controller. Like I said, using a, anything but an Xbox controller might lead to some problems. So. Okay. Now I guess the question is, where do I go? <laughs> we'll go up into the left. How about that? Oop. How about no? Oops, he's looking at something. Aha! Okay, so this is where Silent Hill gets a little, like, map checky. Which is constant. 
constantly checking their maps. Oh. Remains of Blank Swamp. The Blankers of Land Surround, whose monument was originally swamp, but was later filled. Blood Swamp. Cars washed the. Um, perhaps it's put. This is the way. I think that was uh, blocked earlier. And I'm feeling like he's looking at enemies. You know, I really think that I can just do this. I know there's something up here. Oh. Okay, maybe this is where that scare is. <laughs> what scare? <laughs> Going over there. See, there was one. I said no. <laughs> Hell yeah, apartment key key. All right, I'm very happy about this. Skipping some time here. I'm just going to remain on this side. <laughs> so I don't have to deal with that thing under the van. Almost to the apartment, ladies and gentlemen. Here in my headphones. I'm pretty sure the apartment building is like up here on the right. Such a gate James has. If you see something. Ooh, hangar bullets. We'd like to see that. Begin. Great. Yeah, that was. <laughs> that made me go. Ooh. Ignore it. Ignore it. It's in your head. do this and there's nothing here and I just but I just have to just in case I forgot right and we're later yeah wow waste <laughs> honestly though it's like the game is like fine until you get the flashlight and the flashlight is just like whoa this game has some amazing lighting look at that so detailed a little bit. I just want to get to the part with the flashlight. That's all. And then you'll be done with me. <laughs> I'm playing a VR horror game that's very Silent Hill-esque. And it's way, way more scary than this. <laughs> Jeez actually in the hallway. Every time you touch the door, you're just like, nah. <laughs> Trash hole. down you always have to kick them because they are not dead wow look at this flashlight my god 
Dude, flashlights in games are such a level up. Like, it makes it, it makes the lighting and graphics look 25 times better. Scientifically, it has been proven 25 times. Look at that ass. <laughs> okay, I think we can just save right here. Great, wow. Hey, let's look at these items. Ooh, so high quality. <laughs> but they do, they look amazing. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope you learned how to install Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition for PC. It's so easy. You just go to the website, download that one file. I believe in you, and we believe in you here at the Inpatient Gamer. Thanks for watching.